uh, you made important a couple of important goals on uh, Sundays against Kuhansta. And but what went to went through your mind when there were only ten minutes left and you were losing to one? Well, I I said it before and I'll say it again. If you're going to go for gold in this league, um, it's a, such a strong league mm -hmm. that you're going to have to win all sorts of different ways. So when we go down two to one and there's only ten minutes left on the clock, uh, everyone has to believe that we're going to come through and win. And I think that. That belief is what carries us through to the end. We had a game against Lynch Hoping in the first half of the season that was 0-0 in the 87th minute, um, and we still had that belief. And now it's even it was even worse against Crown, so we were down 2-1, to one, but still we had the same confidence in our game plan, in our ability, and because of that we were able to come back and win the game. And um, you have scored in almost every game this this year, so what is your secret? I mean, what <laughs> how can you be in such a great shape all the time? I think that playing on this team, um, my teammates make my job so much easier. We have one of the best midfields in the world, and so I get so many opportunities in front of the goal time and time again, thanks to their creativity and their um, ability to keep the ball and make the perfect final pass. And then on top of that, we have you know, such great attackers that the defense has to worry the whole game about Marta, about Kirsten, about Jenny. And so there's so much more space for me to be able to kind of sneak in the back door and for, you know, the, the blind side ball. And you have already played the Champions League last year with your former uh, club, uh, Copa Bergeteborg. So mm -hmm. what do you think will be the difference this year with playing with uh, Tiresa? Yeah, so I played Champions League um, twice two different rounds with uh, Koperberg, but I think that the ambition on this team is so much higher. Uh, we are going in it to win the whole thing, and there's no doubt about that for all of us. That's our goal, and you know we're going to do what we can to achieve it and put in the work, and we know it's going to be hard, but we have that belief in ourselves, and we have that goal so clear in our, all of our minds. Um, and it starts from the first round you're not going to get an easy game in this tournament. So every single challenge is going to be really tough for us. And we have to be physically and mentally prepared to battle all the way through. And uh, you have already played with Ashling Harris and uh, Whitney Engine. Mm -hmm. And what do you think that they can bring to this team? Mm -hmm. Whitney, actually, I've been, I was on her team when I was seven years old. So she's from my hometown. Uh, we've grown up playing soccer right next to each other. Um, so I am just thrilled that she's coming to the team. I think she's one of the best central defenders in the world. She's smart. She's athletic. She's confident. She organizes the team. She will bring so much, and I'm sh and she's been here before, so I'm sure she will slide in quite nicely. And Ashlyn, I've been playing with for the last year and a half on the national team, and she's a fantastic goalkeeper. She has such a good attitude. Uh, every day in training. Uh, she amazes me with the things that she can do. She brings so much energy on the field, off the field. She's an intense person and she demands a lot from her teammates. So just her presence can raise the whole level of the team. Thank you so much, Kristen. Mm -hmm.